Okay, here's the next cube that I'm selling. Not everything in this video is what I'm selling, but basically the cube with the monitor and the keyboard and mouse, and then of course the power cord. The other items over here to the left of the monitor, no, not included. Those are things I'm keeping. But I'm selling a pristine condition next cube. Hardly any scratches on this one. Very clean. I'm the second owner. It's been very well taken care of. And you're just not going to find a cube as clean as this one these days. Maybe a few out there, but I really took good condition of it since I've had it. And the keyboard, mouse, and the screen. Uh, keyboard's in pretty good shape. It's got a uh, little bit of scratching up down here on the bottom right of the keyboard. A few little scratches, but not too bad. Mouse is in pretty good shape. The monitor itself, uh, not too bad. This particular one I'm videoing right now, uh, I have two of them. Uh, the one that I already have boxed up is the one that would be shipped with it. Uh, it's same monitor. The little rubber feet that go at the bottom of the base, common on these old monitors that they would flake up and you'd have to basically throw them away. So the little feet on the one I've got packed up are missing, but everything else is there. And uh, it works fine, still fairly bright. Uh, I would say the condition of the monitor cosmetically, 6 to 7 out of 10. What you're really paying for, though, is the cube. Uh, this is a good 9.5 out of 10, as near as new as I think you're going to get in an old cube like this. And uh, So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just so you can see that it boots up. I'm going down here to the power key. Now you're hearing the next cube starting to spin up, fan coming on. And then video will start coming up. Hopefully this camera kind of gets the video good enough for you to see that it boots up. <coughs> if you don't own a Next, uh, it goes through a testing system phase. And then it will kick in and it will loading from disk phase. And basically at this point it's booting up from the internal hard drive. It's a um, 312 megabyte internal hard drive, I believe the original one that came with this computer. It originally had an MO optical drive, but common on the old Nex, they die, people chuck them, they just weren't a good drive, so that's been removed from this system. Uh, you really can't find a good one anymore. And it's got 64 mega RAM, 68040 at 25 megahertz, so they call that the non-ADB style, which is the first style Nex that came out. This particular one has uh, less than 5,000 serial number so it's pretty early in the phase of next computers so as you see it's booting up the next step 3.3 .3. uh, I don't have any extra media so I'm not giving any of the media away with the sale uh, but it's pre uh, you know installed Netscape 3.3 .3. Uh, hopefully if you're a next owner you've already got that if not you'll need to acquire it eventually And as soon as I'm able, I'll type in my root password, which at this page is, pace is just root. And now you're booting up in the next step, 3.3. And there's your desktop. So as you can see, the computer's boot up. It's running fine. I can go up here to Info, Info Panel. And as you can see, Workspace Manager talks a little bit about what you've got in there. So anyway, that's the running and booting Nextcube. Beautiful computer. I uh, hate to sell it, but I've got two. There's my other system. <laughs> got a couple of Next uh, setups. Anyway, that's the computer.